I know a lot of people are looking forward to this uh, season. Uh, we've played some young men starting four years ago, and uh, some of those guys will be their fourth year of starting for us, three-year starters. We have a number of guys back on defense and a number of guys back on offense. Uh, they've had a great experience in the, in the league, uh, but uh, I know our opponents are going to have something to say about this. I think our schedule is a little tougher this year, but uh, we're looking forward to the challenge, and our kids have been working hard throughout the summer and had a great spring practice to be able to prepare for the season. You know, I would say uh, certainly Matt Soltes is one of the top uh, returners. He's probably one of the top three or four quarterbacks in the country right now. He's had great success in his freshman and sophomore years. He now can put that, his talent with his skill and experience coming back. And that'll be exciting to see that. Robert Healy had a, just a magnificent redshirt freshman year for us. Second all-time leading rusher in the season, uh, rookie of the year in the PSAC East to be able to do this. He's coming back, and not only that, but those offensive linemen are coming back too, which has something to say about uh, the opportunity to be able to open holes in that uh, capacity. We find too that Steve Jones, tight end, is coming back in all conference, uh, tight end I might add. Cody Laubach is a second team all conference offensive tackle. And we also have Dusty Reed returning with us. Uh, John uh, Snars had an outstanding spring practice. So coupled with that, and then we have other guys who are certainly specialists. Uh, we have uh, Vander uh, Cruz coming back at fullback, and he's one of those short yardage specialists right there to be able to do this. And along with uh, the opportunity to have a quarterback, a bunch of wide receivers who have game experience, uh, it should be very exciting to watch our offense this year on defense. Uh, we certainly have a, a number of guys. Uh, with Brian Thompson, uh, two years ago, the old uh, player of the year in the, in the PSAC East. Uh, one of the great leaders, maybe one of the finest leaders we've had in the history of our program here in dealing with that. But we also uh, have a, a few other guys. Cody Simcox, uh, second team all conference uh, middle linebacker at about 6'3", 230, is coming back. Uh, along with uh, John Noble, another big defensive tackle for us. Brandon uh, Catelli is coming back with us. Uh, he's a three-year starter at defensive end. Uh, he's had a very great success throughout those three years. I'm looking forward to, to having him with us and dealing with this. Teron Dobbs in the secondary. Uh, he, he certainly had a, a two years of great experience, a fine spring. Uh, he's one of those guys that has a smile on his face all the time and thoroughly enjoys the opportunity to go out and compete and being around the game. And with those guys and coupled with, with some other guys that have had some experience with us and some of the guys that are coming in, it should be a very exciting time for us on defense. A uh, couple things. Number one, stay healthy. Uh, we got to be healthy because no one's that deep in our conference that they can afford major blows to to uh, some of their outstanding personnel. Second thing is, is come, take every game as if, hey, maybe the last couple of years we could kind of sneak into town and creep up on somebody. Not anymore. Uh, we got to walk down Main Street and probably have the 76 trombones playing in front of us to be able to do that. I'm sure we're on the calendar of a lot of our opponents and uh, it, it'll be a big game. So we have to bring our A game every week. We do that. Should be some excitement in the Poconos.